A Brief History of English Language. English is a member of the Germanic branch of the Indo-European language family, which includes German, Nordic languages, Frisian, etc. Traditionally, we can divide English into three main categories, which are. Old English, Middle English, and Modern English. The oldest period of English is called as Anglo-Saxon or Old English. Before the invasion of the British Island, only some Germanic tribes were speaking the language. Those tribes were mostly known as Angles and Saxons, speaking different dialects of the German language. A quick note: the word English comes from the tribe Angles, and it comes from their homeland, Ingle. During and after the invasion, some of the Britain natives had gone to the other parts of the island and saved their languages, but the Anglo-Saxon language had been spreading all over the island. Before the Saxons, Britons spoke a mixture of Latin language. And Celtic languages spoken before the Romans came. Besides these two, there were Brittle Welsh, Scottish, and Pictish languages in the land. The most famous written source that reads up to date is an epic poem consisting of 3,183 lines, called Beowulf. For the English language. The Norman Conquest is considered a crucial historical event. Normans who occupied the British island in the leadership of William the Conqueror, the Duke of Normandy, were a Scandinavian tribe that spoke a dialect of French. From the conquest till the 15th century, French used as the language of the aristocracy. And with the Latin language that was spoken mostly because of religious purposes and Anglo-Saxon language, these three became widespread in Britain. Another quick note: the origin of the names of the animals, such as ox, sheep, cow, is Anglo-Saxon, and of the meats, such as beef, bacon, veal, is French. This may be a good example for showing the class discrimination. Later on, since French wasn't spoken by the public, it collapsed rapidly, and the usage of the English language continued to increase on the island. But of course, the effect of French on the English language is incontrovertible. By the 1350s, the London dialect distinguished itself from the others, but a writer shouldn't appear for this to be noticed. Geoffrey Chaucer, the first great poet of the British, was that person. By his time, Anglo-Saxon origin English was the only language open, and with his contribution to the development of the language of literature, the London dialect has become generally accepted. When it comes to modern English, which had stood out from other languages in Britain and become the only language, it has begun to approach its current form. When William Caxton introduced the printing machine. Invented by Johann Gutenberg to the country in 1476, printing and preservation of books became much easier. With easy access to books, language has reached a certain standard. From the last periods of Middle English to the 1800s, great vowel shift has occurred, which led to a radical change in pronunciation. This change, which mostly affected long vowels, is briefly related to the articulation places of words. The most important feature of great vowel shift is that some of the long vowels turned into diphthongs, and the other long vowels began to be used in the upper part of the mouth. For instance, the a、ah、sound became a, like mac to make. The e、eh、sound became e. Like met to meet, the e sound became 
I like Knecht tonight. William Shakespeare, a globally known poet and writer, lived in those times. Although the number of words added by Shakespeare is not known exactly, it is estimated that he added thousands of words to the language. His enormous contribution to the development of the English language remained valid. In the period of modern English, events that deeply affected world history such as Renaissance, Industrial Revolution, and Colonization took place, and the changes and innovation brought by these events enabled the vocabulary of language to develop and enrich. With the discovery of America, many European countries, including the Netherlands, Sweden, and Portugal, especially Spain, France, and Great Britain, attacked the continent in colonies. Only Indians were living on the continent at that time. Among these, there were the 13 colonies. The US was formed in the 18th century when these British colonies declared their independence. With the advancement of technology after the World Wars and the spread of mass media, the USA became the first country that comes to mind when we mention English. For many centuries, lots of words have been integrated from languages such as French and Latin into English. Although others enrich this language, English as we say is a Germanic language, and since the Anglo-Saxon era, it didn't change its basics such as syntax. Continuing cultural change and development throughout the history, English is the most spoken language in the world today. It effectively maintains its existence both in business life and education, even in countries where the mother tongue is not English. And it is also more than 70 countries' official or co-official language.